Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's Springbok team prediction. The team that will be taking on Argentina this weekend in Mbombela, a stadium where we've got a very good history. The last time we were there, we beat the All Blacks. And uh, this weekend, look at the win the rugby championship. A full rugby championship for the very first time and uh, any rugby championships 2019. So it's going to be a pretty cool occasion, and I'm going to be there actually. So if you're going to down to uh, Mbombela or up to Mbombela, depending on where you are, uh, please do get in touch and come and look out for us at the stadium. We're going to be doing interviews with the crowd, for example. We might even be doing a bit of a get-together to watch the South Africa, um, South Africa rather, Australia versus New Zealand game in the morning. So if you are in and around Mbombela this weekend, please do come say hi. And uh, looking forward to getting over there. So in terms of the team prediction, um, I think we're going to see a full-strength South African side, to be honest. Why wouldn't you, I suppose? It's going to be a massive occasion. It is going to be the record-breaking test for Eamon Etzebeth, where he will become the South African with the most caps ever um, for the Springboks. And what an occasion that's going to be for him. He's an absolute legend of the game and is about to become our all-time leading um, appearance maker, assuming he gets picked, which, you know, Unless there's any injuries, which apparently were Anthony um, after the, the, the game in the post-match press conference, he will play. And that's going to be very cool. So uh, in terms of the team, you know, we obviously had a couple of players who were out and were rested for the game. There is uh, no slash Fabi Gomezulu. He is currently injured and uh, might be fit for the end of year tour at the stage, but um, will not be available for this weekend. So in terms of the side, this is what I have gone with. So after being rested, I put Abongi, Manambi and France Mahova back into the starting lineup. They'll line up against uh, next to Oxen Chair, um, is what I think. And uh, Oxen Chair at the moment, currently, potentially, you know, he could he could be um, sitting with a, 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 a shout to be one of the best props in the world right now, if not the best prop. I think generally, the way he's been playing recently, you know, the performance against Argentina, the scrum performance in particular, absolutely seismic. Um, I expect able to start in, in this test, and I think he'll be next to Ruan Lokia, who's been very impressive so far. And uh, then I think we'll have sort of normal programming resume with that back three. Sia Khaleesi for me will come back in the starting lineup, or captain. Peter Step Detroit will start at seven, and I think they'll continue with Jasper Visa at eight. I'm really, really hoping we're going to see Jaden Hendricks start this weekend. I do think he's a better starter, for example. I thought he played better this weekend than Klaus Reinach. And uh, I think he's exactly what we need just to control the game, for example. His awareness is really good. And uh, I've gone with him next to Andre Pollard, and, uh, uh, who I expect to start. And then I think Kurt Lawrence, uh, Chesney Colby, updated fast. It will be the back three. We might see a Billy LaRue, who might continue to notch up caps. Uh, caps. Uh, it would be interesting. Uh, for example, to see if, if he is included in, in the mix, uh, whether he then starts, comes off the bench, for example, could be quite interesting. You know, with no Sash Family Gomes, no Dan Williams, we're not really going to see uh, probably a 6 2 split without a secondary fly half because um, we need that option, for example. And so, in the sense that I've gone with Damien Delendi, Jesse Creel, that kind of the record breaking center punch, I'd expect to see Damien Delendi come back into the mix. If we go with a 5 3 split, then I think we could see Lukanya um, on the bench, but I'd be surprised if we see, for example, a Delendi um, um, combination or a the kind of um, Jesse Creel combination. Uh, off the bench, I've gone with Malcolm Marks and uh, Gerst didn't come Vincent Koch for that sort of second half bomb squad. The Salman Rat has genuinely come in the number in the number 19 jersey has kind of been part of that bomb squad. So I don't expect much to change there. And now I think they'll go with the usual Albert Lowe and Quaker Smith. I'd really like to see Moray Vandenberg get an opportunity off the bench um, in familiar conditions down in back in South Africa and uh, you know, hopefully better conditions from a playing point of view than what we had in Australia. And uh, I think Mario Bok will be on the bench. I think we have to have a secondary fly on the bench. We could go with Valeru. And, uh, you know, if he really needs to be fly half, he could, he could be an option. You then sort of have Jaden Hendricks as your other option from a, from a, from a place kicking point of view. But it is quite a high-risk uh, situation. So I do think we'll go with Pollard and Mario Nibok on, on in, in the 23. And I think it'll be really good to see Mario Nibok get another opportunity, especially in what well, we're expecting to be really good conditions, dry rugby, for example. Let him have a go. Let him build that confidence back up, you know. And also, I think very importantly, you know, if you want to try and show faith in someone, just after maybe having that mistake, get him back into the mix, you know. He's done it before. He's had bad moments. But he's also had great moments in a spring mock jersey. And uh, I would love to see him get that second opportunity this weekend. Um, let me know what you would change. What uh, what sort of team would you pick? Would you go 5-3, 6-2, for example? Uh, how would you change this side? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.